John Tesh, we are so honored to have you. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. We watch you guys every day. But but the, the, the dog show thing you did? Listen, <laughs> when, I, when, when I was in New York, I covered fires. Can I get the job where we do the dog show? I mean, that was you amazing. But you turned it into a great segment. We Thank were like, you. oh, no, I want, I, want, I want Vincenzo to win. Thank yeah. you. You do watch. Yeah. You know, your, your story is fascinating on a number of levels. I did not know that not only did you get kicked out of school at one point, you yeah. got kicked out of your house? I did. You what know, happened? you know my dad. Yeah. No. Uh, well, what happened was, I, I, my dad was one of the vice presidents of the underwear division of uh, of Hanes. Oh. And so, oh. <laughs> that's a great huh? reaction. I didn't expect that. So he, so we got. I actually uh, got free underwear from from uh, what, until I was 18 years old. I don't ever remember my family ever <laughs> washing any underwear. We just got it all for free. Sorry. So anyway, I, it, that's in, that's in the book. So what happened was he. I wanted to be a musician. I wanted to be an entertainer, and I wanted to go to like uh, to USC or or to or to any music school. And he decided that I was going to go to North Carolina State and to study textile chemistry and carry on the underwear legacy, mm. right? Oh. What, right. Carry on the yeah. underwear legacy. Yeah. Yeah. And you, yeah. you there is like, such a thing. Well, I did it. I went. Yeah. I went. Yeah. I studied uh, uh, quantitative analysis and shade matching, and you know all the rest of that. Watching underwear go by one on one, and and so. <laughs> And but it's not what you wanted out of no, life. No, thank you. Yes, thanks for shortening my story. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and so, so what happened was, I decided I wanted to switch my major mm -hmm. to. I, I had taken a course in radio and television, yeah. right? And I got bit by that bug, like you guys, yeah. right? And so I decided I wanted to switch my major. So I took my um, my drop ad card around to all the professors. Said, "Would you please sign this?" And they all did, except for my statistics professor, who said, "You're past the date." We can't, I'm not going to do that. I have to go with university policy. Mm -hmm. So I did what you would never do. I might have had some advice from a fraternity brother, and I, <laughs> I signed my professor's name to the Ooh. drop bad card. Oh. Wow. Yeah. And so we'll be back after this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what happened was uh, he caught me, right, and, and, and reported it to the university, and yeah. I, I got suspended. I, I had broken the honor code. I got an F for the course. When my dad got the letter, he said, you're no longer welcome in my house and kicked oh, me out of the house. So wow. I got in my, in my Volkswagen with my Jimi Hendrix records and drove back to Raleigh, lived in a tent for four months and pumped gas and, and prayed. And that was it. But then you got a job at, you know, I in did. Nashville eventually. Did, yeah. You worked your way up there, right? Well, before that, before, what happened was yeah. I had to get out of that tent. And so what I... <laughs> <clears throat> Out cue is I had to get out of that tent, and, and so what, what, I, what I did was uh, I, I, I was able to get into the campus radio station. Yeah. I broke in there. I was already a criminal, so what the heck, right? I went in there and I had there was a real little tape recorder, and a little piano, and, and a microphone, and I did the whole thing that you would do, right? So, and I did the write a report, you know, just yeah. yeah. you know, the whole thing, and I did, you know, you this is David back. Dyer in Cairo, and Henry Kissinger, and I did that whole thing for about for, for about uh, 15 minutes, sent it around to all these radio stations, and a guy named Scott White, who I still stay in touch with, the news director hired me because he felt sorry for me I got my first radio job and you know how it is you get your foot in the door and somebody leaves and 36 months from the point I was in that tent I ended up anchoring the news here in New York City for WCBS at 23 years old yeah wow. and so when you look back and connect the dots on your life yeah. that's how you know there's a Holy Spirit and, and part of your, your 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 career and part of your story is not one but two bouts with cancer how are you doing today I'm healed yeah I mean what happened was I got a, a, a terrible, uh, you, you would call it a terminal diagnosis, 18 months to two years to live back in 2015. And uh, I went through, went through all the, it was, it was a rare form of prostate cancer. Mm -hmm. And I, I went to uh, Johns Hopkins and MD Anderson and Northwestern and the, I had surgery and I had a chemo and all the rest of that stuff and an amazing amount of suffering. And when I, I got on the other side of it and I thought I was, I was healed and I had faith for the doctors. It just kept coming back. And, and mm -hmm. while we were going through that, my wife, Connie Selica, and I, we were going through it, we were at the same time, we were learning a, a different way to pray. Mm -hmm. We were learning that there, was, there were ancient scriptures in the Bible that actually promised healing. And one of them was Mark eleven twenty three, 23, which we actually have tattooed on our bodies now, about the, mm -hmm. our family members. Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will be done, shall have what he says. And we, yeah. we, we believe that, and the, and the last time we went for uh, an exam, right, uh, they wanted to radiate my, my body with, with 62 different treatments. Yeah. And at that moment, Connie and I looked at each other, and we understood that we were in a different place than if faith was born, stopped getting treatment, and, yeah. and uh, my last test, my last blood test was uh, no tumor values at all, no inflammation, Child and it was, it was the fact that we not only had faith, but we didn't have any unbelief. John Tesh. Wow. The book Incredible is called story. Relentless, Unleashing a Life of Purpose, Grit, and Faith. Faith. We'll be right back.